Hello, and welcome to Nomads of Fantasy. This is our NPR broadcast, as we are discussing an artiste's film this week. Welcome to our weekly movie and video game podcast, where we make a new universe our home every week. This is episode 115, and with us this week, welcome to my van, who wants to get in? Uh, Brandon, would you like to come into my van? That's all right. That's got it going down the road in there. There is a fucking pub down there. I gotta get my groceries and stuff like that. And I fucking got call it there. I'll get in your van if you ask me to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? All right. Sounds sounds great. Also with us this week we have uh, Eric. This isn't Tesco's, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it is not. Tesco's. It is not. Uh, yes, I am using my fancy NPR voice because we are discussing a film this week, Under the Skin. A capital F film. It is a capital F film. I wish I knew that going in. It's a little, <laughs> it's kind of nice to know these things, but sometimes we're going blind. But this movie came out in 2013, so it's 10, 10 years, years old, old already, recording. which seems kind of crazy. I think I've been hearing about this one for a while. Brandon, you've been, you brought this one up multiple times. Yeah. Um, Spoiler alert. This was Brandon's so idea. <laughs> it, this hey. is, yeah, it's a hard sell. It's a hard sell. Um, I'm, it is. I, I know we'll get into it. Um, it's one of those movies that's not for everybody, but I think it's one of those movies that you should see. Like when somebody tells and then you, you like, decide the movie gets better when you watch it again. I'm usually a little skeptical because it's like a movie that like. I'm going to have to think about this. I'm going to have to put in some effort and go both ways and try and like pay yeah. attention and not just, you know, action scenes and shit like that. So it was an interesting one. I, I was a roller coaster of emotions for me about halfway through it. I hated you by the end of yeah. it. I wanted to yell at you and by, okay. by about today, I'm a little thankful and then still kind of spiteful so i don't know it's, it's a little roller coaster of emotions hey, we'll, we'll, we will get into it yeah <laughs> we will get for into sure. all that for sure there's a lot um, to get into we it. did this movie does have uh i don't want to say it's uh so much tension like, a, like cult, the movie. a cult following is this it's kind of a cult-y. i would say oh, it's a cult following i think the people that really oh, that really? like this movie really like this movie and yes. are like yes. telling people to watch it you know yeah, so okay we asked people if they like this movie um, over on yeah. X and our Discord and stuff like that. Eric, why don't you hit us with the social yeah. over here? Uh, if you want to follow us on X at Nomads of Fantasy, or please join our Discord, the Nomads of Fantasy dot com yeah. slash Discord. We're always popping off in there. It's always fun to chat with everybody. Uh, but a gamer looks at forty podcast uh, yeah. guests on the show. We had friend Bill. of the show, friend of the show, yes. Mm -hmm. um great film he says dripping with atmosphere visually beautiful and open for interpretation i could see why someone would find it boring but to me it's entrancing mm -hmm. and the score is unbelievable i agree with uh pretty much all those uh points especially well we'll get into it um <laughs> and martin says it's fantastic in my opinion mysterious horrific and cold amazing score by mika levy levy score levy? two yeah, I don't score. know. Score is, is like, generous. Could not re it's, yeah. Or is it just like heartbeats and boops and blops and it's, I don't know. It's yeah, like, it's, there's it's got tension. that string that, like yeah. that thing that happens, but uh, yeah. sure. And uh, from our, over in our Discord there, um, Tejas, yeah. uh, good Tejas. friend of the show, says, Under the Skin was a movie I knew almost nothing about. I went in just knowing Scarlett Johansson was in it and that it was mm -hmm. an independent movie. It's intriguing with interesting special effects and the mystery of what exactly is happening with ScarJo's character. Is she a prisoner or a willing participant? The music is particularly uh, lends a lot to the movie with ominous overtones and elevating the tension. The skin scene was a standout moment, adding more questions that don't necessarily get answered. The ending was also a standout moment. Pretty good special effects for the, that scene as well. I enjoyed this movie and will watch it again. Ooh, willingly? Oh. Willingly, will you watch it? Wow, or interesting. Like, okay. Ah, yay! I got so many mixed emotions here. There's, I, yeah, they're, yeah, they're all swirling <laughs> yeah. around in a pool of black goo. I'm with you. That's we why do. I wanted this movie because, uh, yeah, I'm. I don't even know if I like it. Like, I, I was looking at buying Annihilation, this movie, and something else for like it was like 15 bucks. I'm like, well, that's a pretty good deal for those movies because I like Annihilation a it's lot. A good pack. Like, I don't know how much I like 
like I like Under the Skin, but I don't know if I can own it. I don't know if I'll ever like, <laughs> right. have that. Other than this podcast, like it's just a movie that you watch it once, maybe twice, and then once. you're probably done oh, with it. I think you need I, you to know? watch it more than once. I, mm, I disagree. So, well, I'm not saying like close to each other. I'm saying you should watch this again after you've seen it the first time and kind of i don't know it helps to after you get look high, up look actually, up some of the themes know. no i'm always high for every movie we watch so <laughs> i feel like I'll if i honest. was high watching this movie i would have like an existential crisis or something <laughs> <laughs> it was a trip who it was am a trip, i right. You're looking in the mirror right am uh, i really I'll... me well we'll say we'll, we'll get into that later yeah. um dave uh what since this is because this is kind of kind of it's not a very scary movie but it's kind of getting us into the, it's know, that the mood. horror it's the mood. halloween yeah, yeah the halloween mood you know this is kind of a creepy movie yeah for sure um this week yes under the skin next week we're gonna do a catch-up on what we've been playing this month everything that's not starfield i'm sure we'll have some starfield discussions in there too but it's been a while uh, since we've done a catch-up so i think we'll have quite, yeah. a, quite a bit to catch up on like to like to get those in and see what's going on and then yeah we're gonna be putting out this schedule on you know, in the next week or so for October, we've been talking about indie horror games. We're talking about found footage movies. Um, so if there is something that anyone would recommend to us, uh, jump in the discord. Um, feel free to, you know, throw some recommendations in there. We're always looking for new stuff as we are Absolutely. nomads. We like to like to try new things. And yeah, uh, watch a foreign stuff horror movie would be. Yeah, a foreign, oh, like a foreign Japanese horror movie. Ho- I've, Japanese horror is awesome. <laughs> Bro, yeah, those I'm in. are scary. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's what we got coming up. Um, but let's uh, let's take a quick break before we jump in because I have a feeling this is going to be, I don't know, a long and not combative, but everybody's gonna have. Would you this say is a very opinionated movie? Would you say that we might get under each other's skin? <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be a couple of those too. Please pardon the under the skin puns that are gonna be. It's gonna happen. Filling this episode, we're all yeah. dads. We we got the best dad jokes around. So absolutely. All right, let's uh let's take a quick cut here. Uh, let's refill our drinks. Uh, let's gas up the van and go drive around Glasgow and look for some meat meat balloons. How to... did she afford all that gas? By the way, we'll get into it. I think. Sorry, we get the the handlers got it. All right. Yep, we'll be right back. <laughs>
In Glasgow, terrible talk Scottish about, accent. There. Talk about <laughs> under the skin. Sorry, it was very. Uh, uh, it's a hard accent. It. It's a hard I'm accent, so your yeah. uh, your intro was pretty impressive with the amount of. Hi, laddie. Out there. That's that's the only <laughs> no, no, Scottish no, no, accent I can do. Uh, Those stereotypical yeah, ones. Yeah, I know. It was pretty bad. I turned on uh, subtitles for this one. Oh, you got um, you have to. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a little rough. Uh, we were talking about Under the Skin again, um, a movie that came out in 2013, directed by Jonathan Glazer, uh, starring, I mean, pretty much all Scarlett Johansson, mainly. Um, an interesting movie. I'm not a movie. It's a film. <laughs> it is a film. I, I've ever really got mixed opinions on this one. Uh, it was released by A24 distributed by them or whatnot but so when i saw that pop up in the in the intro uh i was very excited for this movie um sure eric i guess let's get to let's get some initial impressions out of the hold way. on um yeah let me gonna crack a, a beer need a beer for this for before we get into the the heavy discussions yeah, yeah. there we go brandon okay. you're muted too by the way uh let's get you back oh, in the shit. conversation I muted because my my puppy is being crazy tonight. <laughs> I slammed the is... beer down too hard. Uh, now there's beer all over my mouse pad. Keep the keep the black goo out of your uh, computer or your keyboard because that's right. not well, good for anything. I'll have to clean that later. Anyways, um, no, this, this came out in a while ago. It's an A24 film. Brandon, you highly recommended this film. I, I would say highly recommended it. I, I don't think know if this it was is highly. Movie. I feel like I feel like I you just offhandedly mentioned waited. it. Yeah, I, I mentioned it last year, and uh, maybe we've talked before, about like, this when we all worked together. Like, yeah, I feel I'm like sure we been, really it's been around for a while. Been yeah. that long? Okay. Well, when, it's ten years old. Did you? When did you first see it, Brandon? When it first came out? Oh man, I have a buddy who feeds me all the movies that I should watch, and this is. Brandon this just said. That... Brandon just heard from the grapevine that there was a naked mm-hmm. Scarlett Johansson in this movie, so he was like, <laughs> "I have to see this uh, one." No, but it was, I, I think I saw it seven years ago, probably okay. it was a while so, ago. Yeah, and um, that's why I was like open to seeing it again. But I'm, I mean, I I watched it, and um, I don't even think I liked it when I saw it the first time. And the second time, I'm like, I like it. It's it's just that it's a movie. I think you need to. So is this like the third time you've seen it? Yeah. Movie? How many times? Is oh, so this... the sec- only the second time. Just second okay. time. And how, I could not remember it was better. the second half of the movie. To be honest with you, I could not remember it at all. I just remember the her and the band. I think you because you the... fell asleep uh, the first time around. Probably, <laughs> dude. It is a slow, and if you don't, if you're not digging the movie, it is probably torturous to watch. You know, it, was it wasn't. Part I wouldn't of my, say torturous. Part of my it but anyways, slightly. I just wanted you guys to see it because I thought it was just you know I don't know I see some movies and I'm like this is cool it's aliens it's it's, it's, it's I've got never seen anything like about, it for sure yes yes, yes yeah, definitely different so uh, anyways Eric I mean like yeah what we were you know we were gonna ask you like what 
because we all we can feel it. Do you like the movie? Do you think it was worth watching? Or like, is um, it is this those movie are, supposed to make us feel frustrated? Those are all different questions. Those are all separate questions. <laughs> okay. Did I like the movie? Uh, I don't know. Hashtag what positivity you, what you podcast. Like a C, a D, a, a forty. It's hard. A this is one of those movies that's hard to grade because. Uh, what was the other question? You watch? Is it worth watching? Yes, I think it, it worth I think watching? it is worth watching. Like. You watched it and you're glad mm-hmm. you did. It, it evokes, okay, it evokes something. It evokes emotions. It evokes, you know, it triggers your brain <laughs> to that, think about certain things. Um, is that emotion boredom? I, w- <laughs> I wouldn't say, <laughs> I wouldn't say I was entertained no. by this movie by any means. And I don't think it's set out to do that. I don't think that's the goal of this movie to entertain. Mm-hmm. I think it's to uh, ask some Tension, some questions. Yeah, it's very unnerving. There's it's steeped in metaphors, double meanings, uh, interpretation, um, and you know, I I love a movie that leaves some things up to interpretation. But uh, okay. when you leave too okay. much up to interpretation, sometimes it gets a little lost on me. Um, so immediately after I was done watching this movie, I watched a like a ten minute YouTube explainer which i think helped me parse some things a little bit and some of the themes and some of the metaphors so after i watched that i think i appreciated it a little more um that's very true i I will say i think where i land on it i don't know if i liked this movie i don't know if i'll ever watch it again but i appreciate what it is and that's the thing that i don't know after after it i was a little i don't know i was cursing at Brandon through it like why why is he making Yeah, me what's with these movie? emotions you're having over there, Dave? This is all sorts Talk of me through it. Talk out. me through it. Well, so you you cuz you first, tried watching this movie once before and then you stopped. I think my wife fell asleep and I just was like, all right, this my is wife boring. I'm going to go play Xbox. My wife didn't right. fall asleep. She was just done at a certain point. She was like, I don't mm-hmm. feel like watching this anymore. <laughs> mhm. And I and I this movie, I have this written with a star next to it. Am I just a bro film, like a bro movie watcher? Like, because this is a, I'm a bro I keep gamer. Calling it, I keep calling it a film. <laughs> that's you know, what I was okay. thinking about. Uh, <laughs> I keep saying that it's a film and not a movie because the movies are more like entertaining. This movie does have a plot and it has some character development, but I'm more like, I'm more about like the narrative of the story, the character development, the acting in the movie. And Scarlett Johansson is, you know, great in this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, She does a good job, but it's, it's a very slow moving movie. Like some of the shots are gorgeous, but they're on the screen for like fucking 30 seconds with just, Oh yeah. They, they marinate, they marinate in those shots. That's for sure. Yes. That's a good, that's a good word. (laughs) Those scenes. And I want to say it's like it's very well done and it's, you know, it's after the fact and I've kind of gone back and like watched some not watched some explainers, but I've, you know, looked some stuff up and seeing what like some of the meanings for certain things are metaphors, things that I mm-hmm. didn't catch the first time I went through. That's what makes me feel like a, a bro movie watcher, because it's one of those movies where you get out of and people are going like. Well, what did you think about the the metaphors in the third act and how they compared um, the woman's struggle and uh, her feelings from when she went from being an animal to ingratiating more of the humanity and interpreting that and blah blah blah. Yeah. And it's like that's why I use the NPR voice in the beginning because <laughs> yeah, it's it's all I don't know. They don't explain things in this movie. It's all just kind of like fucking figure it out, dummy. That's what I was saying. It, like. Too much left up to interpretation can be a little lost. I'm with you, Dave. Like, I I feel like I fall somewhere in the middle between, like, mm-hmm. you know, that bro movie watcher and, like, you know, taking things not just at face value and sort of gleaning my own meaning from them or whatever. But when they yeah. when the movie doesn't give you enough to grab onto, it's kind of like... Right. I'm just like, right. I don't know. It makes you wonder, is that the point or or... Or no, it, it should have been there, and this is just not that good of a movie. Like that is like the question I think yeah, I had too. That's where I the rewatchability like movie. That's what makes it rewatchable is because like after you know these things, going back and like noticing the little things that they do, how like yeah, and I know we're gonna jump all over. Like I'm sure everybody's if you're 
No, we're, well, not gonna, we're not going to go about... beat by beat with the, the plot. No, no but, but like, I mean, when you notice real quick, things like... Though, like the... What's the plot, I guess? Like, for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, we haven't really ruined it yet. But, uh, like... Here, I've got a, I got a plot here. Um, okay. I've got a plot. I got a plot here. I'm just it, looking it, here. It is interesting, though. It's like, it's an indie movie. I think they made it for like $7 million. Scarlett Johansson's in it. Who was a, at the time, she was still pretty popular. I mean, I definitely during, knew who she was. This was during, and like she the, does this during the Avengers, isn't it? When did like Captain yeah. America and those movies come out? Like, those have been, yeah, those time. were like in that area. This, yeah, I think this was time. right before she was like introduced, but she was not a little known actress at this time. The movie was made. No, right. This was, this felt like, like maybe she wanted to do some, you know. Some different sort of acting, experiment a little. I like indie show. Johansson because she does short, smaller budget films. She does, and like uh, there was yeah. one that she did that really was her breakthrough movie, I think, which is Lost in Translation. Great movie. That's when I was like, wow, she's a uh, awesome. I really like this actress. I give her props for doing a movie like this. Give yeah. her props, man, to take yeah, on so an art film. Specifically, and did this one. Because like I keep asking, asking myself, well, why? Why did they make this movie though? Like, what, no, was anybody? asking for this story to be adapted because it was based off a book yeah and they made it into this movie but it was like kind of took a long time for it to happen it's just like why why it's a cool you know? premise like and i like, she specifically I, yeah. said that she it's wanted to work movie she wanted to work with glazier because he was a you know she respected his work um she was a fan of his work you know she at one point in an interview i gotta see the a, sexy beast a visionary and and things okay that? Yeah, so he's got a was... movie called Sexy Beast. Uh, that he's oh. got like, he's got like a following for sure. So I no, get it. But... I've I went actually, and he's more known for like his uh, work in the '90s and like music videos. I went, I went, yeah. I watched a oh, whole wow. bunch of. He did That's like cool. Radiohead music videos. He's done. He did. did he do the show. Just video. Did he virtual, do the Just video? Virtual Insanity by Jamiroquai. He. Oh my god, that was him. Yeah, <sighs> he did Karma Police by Radiohead. Okay. He's done a couple That's a great others. One. Um, but they all kind of have that same, like very artistic look to them, yeah. but those are in Makes like sense. little chunks. Mm-hmm. And when you take that and spread it out over an hour and 40 Interesting, minutes, cause the way he approaches sound and music different. in this movie that matches. Cause like, I got to tell a story without fucking dialogue and just rely on music. So here he's just like throwing in a lot of sound instead mm-hmm. of, and it's like no, barely any music and barely any dialogue right, when yeah. the dialogue yeah. comes the I, first line of dialogue it. was not till 13 minutes into the movie <laughs> which is crazy crazy yeah, the, uh, but uh but he, to well, your point well, no, go, hold on b- before we move ahead uh tw- tjus in the is, is hanging out in the twitch chat he does this is a the exact thought that i had even though i enjoyed this movie the pacing could have been a bit faster at an hour and 47 sure. minutes it overstays its welcome a bit i think this movie is an hour long movie, <laughs> if that. It feels like a like short film, off of it. like a like a short film. Yeah. honestly, yeah, definitely. It feels like it would have been a a, a a movie that you would have seen, in, or like an episode of like not Black Mirror, Twilight but Zone some kind or... of anthology similar, similar to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. like a weird short little story, which is a one off thing. That's I think what it, it feels like. It feels like a big budget version that. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. yeah. I guess mainly he's been doing. I mean, he's got, this came out in 2013. He's got another movie that's supposed to come out this year, The Zone of Interest. Yeah. But between then and those two, like, he's just does commercials. Like, he's okay. known for his commercials. Weird. He's known okay. for his music videos. And, like, that's his, okay. I guess, his bread and butter. I don't know. That's does, cool. Just stuff I... for pretty much everybody. Like, there's all sorts of crazy brands that he's done commercials for. But you can see it from, like, his artistic. He knows how to, like frame a shot he knows how to yeah. you know take a nice picture of a landscape and you know he can tell stories long, he can but, tell yeah. stories through just his visuals mm-hmm. which he, knows, he did throughout this movie he knows how to it's tough show but he did do it scarlett johansson driving in a van for a while yes there's other <laughs> we'll get into that i mean well, hold on get quick plot. Plot. you get the plot yeah, get the yeah, plot yeah, yeah. well i'm gonna do this out of my brain uh okay. <laughs> A Not chick to it. <laughs> drives around Glasgow, picks up dudes, and I don't, I don't, I don't want to call her an alien. She is an I alien. Guess, technically, she is an alien. There's a shot in the beginning of some lights above a skyscraper. Which, yeah, flying hmm. around in the sky, you yeah. definitely see. So they they come right, down. From we'll a call ship. her an alien. They there was other an things extraterrestrial she, creature. They refer to her as in well, that from IMDb. Well, 
I mean, so there are some rumors that in in Glasgow there is uh, the female is actually a selkie instead of an alien. Selkies are mythological creatures found in Scotland, said to live as seals in the sea, but shed their skin to become more human on land. Weird. Just a yeah. just a weird thing. I mean, we'll call I'm sure it that's alien. an influence to it, but in this movie, but, they're straight up aliens. Mm-hmm. We and yeah. essentially, she's driving around, picking up dudes, luring them into her van, into an abandoned house, and then turning them into human meat balloons and sucking out their guts. Yeah, well, maybe. She's, she's yeah, she's doing the opposite of turning them into human meat balloons. She's yeah, she's sucking out their guts and saving their skins. She just, she just leaves the skin. And I, she just wants what's under the skin. Hey, that's it. Well, that's but, the, two. But, the, but the big movie is about like her spending time as a human and then right. like actually be starting to like humanity possibly Learn, yeah, and, she, and learning that maybe what i'm doing is not right and i actually think i like what i like so it, it's it's a big um heady movie that throws a lot at you it's just done in a very messy way uh i think and like there are some shots that are too long pretentious i would say mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but as as a designer we can you know we can be kind of like check this out and just like really put stuff in front of you and just kind of be like do you see it though do you see it and and i wonder is this a long shot because i need to really feel what it's like to be her or is this a long shot because we want it to be a long shot right. and make us that make up my, our own style like because that was you have my that struggle. power as a director that was my struggle with this whole movie like you were saying like, am I supposed to be feeling something while I watch Scarlett Johansson look at herself in a mirror for five minutes or drive in a car for five minutes? Like, what am what am I supposed to be uh, getting from this this long, drawn out scene here? You know, I think part of it, I think it is perfectly illustrated by the Rotten Tomato scores of this movie, where critics have it at an 84, which critics are usually more heady, more theme oriented. Yeah. I mean, that's probably what I would give it. I would give it like an 84. That's audience score of a 55 yeah I which think is like a 30 fair. point for the general public that. that's what yeah, I because expect. because it's one of those movies that makes you think and if you're just into it because like hey my bro told me that scarlett johansson gets naked like dude like you're in for a surprise it's a long movie that's not about getting naked it's about you know there are yeah. other themes to it other than that where you right. have to which Pay is the fun and... of talking about this movie, though, is that like it, it it plays with that very well, you know, and it's like the conversation post 2010, right, is like men and women in Western culture in our relationship right now. What's it like? To, what is it to even be a man? And if, you know, if you're a heterosexual man, how do you behave? You know, do you take the history of, of what men have been doing? What is the future? There's all that all that conversation is oh, yeah. in your head when you watch this movie. And, if, and I, I think this movie, I think this movie is fairly tasteful with how it does it. Um, I can see people having issue with being like, it's just another movie reminding us about how fucking the bad guys are. But like, no, but that's just a reality. I think the movie is just what the the good thing that this movie does is it does it from the perspective of the villain like there's no hero there's no protagonist i, I mean she's the protagonist but there's just no like i'm not rooting for her she's going no. she leaves a bed to baby on the beach you know it's so, like she's not like a redeemable person but i do feel for her by the end of the movie I, by like, the end I of the movie feel i think yeah. bad it's it's different because i mean she First half of the movie, you don't root for her in any way. She You're, like, evolves against her. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. You know, <laughs> like I mean, that's the that's the whole point of the movie. She starts. I mean, even uh, T just mentions it in the chat here. Uh, he says, "I got the impression she was a worker bee for a larger human harvesting project." Which yes. So like she which is. She was. She's like and the we drone. All had that you moment. know, she's. Do she, I want to do this anymore? The motorcycle I've only known this. The motorcyclists were like basically the ones that are supposed to be keeping her in check, making sure that There's she does, she making sure managers, that she does her job. Managers, yeah. That's what, yeah. And she, you know, she's doing her job, and then she realizes that you know, there's more to these humans than just fucking skin bags. You know, there she she starts to feel these human emotions, and it starts to overtake her, and she wants to become them, and you know, be like them. Which, at the beginning, I didn't catch this, uh, you know, when I was watching it, <clears throat> but. After I watched that explainer video, the woman in the beginning 
is the alien before her. You know that, like... Mm -hmm. She's taking the place. She's taking the place yeah. of her in the beginning. So, like, what happened to her by the end of this movie is what happened to the previous one, because she started feeling human emotions, because you see that one little tear from that other woman come down as she's but taking what happened her clothes. To her? Did she just shut down, or, like, we don't know what happened she to her? We don't know what happened to her. You know, you know. Know. We don't know what happened to her, I guess. the I'm, I don't know. But I guess that's another thing left up to interpretation. The motorcycle guy did something to her to disable her. I don't know if she's dead or if she's just in a like a, a frozen state or whatever. But yeah, you're not it's, human, so you can't uh, think like dead. a human, which makes right. sense. Right, exactly. But uh, it's just like a. It seems like it's a cycle that repeats itself because you can see in the one scene where the motorcycle guy is like looking in her eyes to make sure that she, you know, that she's still her. She's still doing her job, like. And it that goes back to like the ant, the ant in the beginning too, the metaphor where like there's the yeah. worker ants and then there's like the warrior ants. If the worker oh, ants get I out of get line, that. if the worker ants get out of line at all, the warrior ants will instantly kill them. Like they, it's it's all right. about the hive. It's all about the hive. Is mind. that how ants work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Ants are it's a hive mind. Fascinating, dude. Yeah, go to YouTube to and watch these epic battles across these ants dude <laughs> they're, 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 they're seriously ants are fascinating they have mm -hmm. these epic battles that go on and we but anyways yes uh, eric that's a great point to, to, and then like that's what i like about them like this is one of the good things that, that the movie does is the is the um is the use of the mirror with something we're all familiar with we know what a mirror does but like how it's portrayed in this movie be it her walking on the black goo in the mirror where like the humans go underneath and she walks on top or when she's looking literally into a mirror she's yep. looking at herself or we're looking at her right um all that stuff is like i don't know i think they did very well and it's good to think about that because it's like we're we're look we're looking at our own behavior a little bit what is it to be human and like what's a good human and what's not a good human we saw a also, lot of versions i think humans... the sloppy part is I was going to say also how humans treat each other and, tr you know, react yeah. to things they don't understand, you know, uh, and that gets well, into like the I ending. Think that's what she learns throughout it, because there are certain points in the movie that I think are turning points where, you know, the beach scene that we brought up and the baby on the beach, like apparently yeah. after that scene, I think it's whenever whenever something is going wrong or whenever something happens or she's upset or something like you can hear the baby in the background like that. Oh. That point of the movie is where she gains some sort of like compassion for the human, the human. Condition. The sound is her sound. It's what she hears. I've learned that, yeah. which I thought was really interesting how the movie uses sound like because I was watching the making of before I saw the movie because I've already seen it before. So, I was like, oh, what's the making of? Let me learn a bit more so I can pay attention for it. And they were saying that. In this movie, the audio engineers was like, "Yeah, uh, usually we're editing, editing out people walking, people touching stuff, whatever, all that stuff, coughing, all that, all the stuff. We edit that out. For this movie, we did the opposite. We left it all in. So you just hear sound, constant sound. And when you're an alien on an alien planet and you try to be undercover." Like you're overwhelmed by the sounds, right? And that's really so, cool. And then, and when she does the, the visuals scene. and everything turns orange, mm -hmm. oh, the rape, yeah, the rave scene, like all that. It's just that, to her. Like, it's just the like, mall. She's, she's like a day old. The, the background noise and yeah, taking everything yeah. in all at once. Uh, but yeah, she's an instant adult yeah. created synthetically in the intro of the movie. She's only like a matter of two days old or something like that, and she's being. She's absorbing all I mean, this. Stuff. Yeah, she's learning the language in the beginning. She's going to the mall to observe how humans behave and how they, you know, view beauty and stuff like superficial beauty with the makeup and all. You know, so she's learning these this human behaviors. This isn't stuff around. that you realize while you're watching the movie, though. Like, no, this is the best no, no, part no, of the like, movie, I would say. This the the opening like, half hour is actually I, it's slow and there's no talking, but they do a really good job oh, creating so this boring. alien. Really? Yeah, no, I just... think this is the stronger part. I I have an issue with the ending of this movie. I think that's where it like falls apart for Somebody me. Somebody told me it picks up at the end, and I was just waiting for it to pick up, and then the credits rolled, and I was just. Like, I mean, it picks up for oh. about two minutes, and then it ends. Ugh, man, but no, it's it's the aliens. They've like they know our weakness. Like you know, mm -hmm. dude wants to hump hot chick. Like that is like that's the spider web, and she's the black widow. 
Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Ah, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got. Right. I give you props for that. She's one. the Black yeah, Widow. Good. Um, and but her whole job is to like pull dudes into the web, turn them into goo, feed the other dudes. You know, Motorcycle yep. Man is the he's the handler. He's the cleanup man. He comes in. He, you know, bashes people's heads in that have seen her or does whatever he needs to do to fucking. There was also clean uh, up her mess everywhere she goes another interpretation in that explainer video that i watched where like she has this mission but why is she doing it uh and one of them was like um she's getting the skins because we see there's one motorcycle dude at the at the beginning but by the end there's like four so yeah the interpretation when was they know she went rogue right the interpretation was she's collecting these skins to create more either more of those motorcycle dudes or just oh. more aliens in human society to infiltrate you know other parts yeah i didn't see that i saw that, that she she's gone rogue she's going a wall because she you know she let the disfigured guy go because as she's learning about humanity the disfigured guy had like fucking no interest in sex like he just wanted to like you know well he did i'm sure he i mean really obviously did. he, he did, was just like, like she's that's just not his priority bad, bad for him he was too like that was not his priority. He just wanted to go to the gas station. Everybody that gets in their van wants to get their dick wet. That no, guy just wanted to go true. pick up his fucking groceries. The first guy, the first guy, he was just trying to walk home, and she's like, "Hey, come here." He's like, "I'm good." He doesn't get my in the car. Uh, my um, but most of them do. But that's well, like, yeah. I was wondering to, those about are, those are the easy ones to get. I was wondering if she had certain criteria for who she was looking for, or you know, if mm-hmm. she was told certain criteria because Absolutely. she talks to a couple guys and she asks them like, "Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a family?" And like the one of the guys in the beginning said, he, yeah, he had a family, and then she kind of just let him go. Just well, like, if they're missing, like, then they'll be it has to right. Be it has to be like a single guy like... with nothing to go back to. So yeah. yeah, but I don't even think we mentioned it yet. All the people in the van are not actors. They're all I just love this. well. I well, love this fact. Except the, the dif- disfigured in guy. The vans, no the guys that get in the vans. No are actors. I thought no. Because, Even the ones no. who get naked at the house, they, oh. they're like, "Yo, you want to be?" <laughs> Some of those dudes want to get picked up. Dudes. Okay, maybe they are. The, those guys are, yes, but but like the yeah, ones that they're talking and to. asking for directions. Oh, right. Like, those okay. dudes, those dudes are not because that was one of the things that let me uh... they came up with is they had a uh, they had new camera like hidden camera rigs that they had to create for this right. because she's just driving around just like, and that was one of the coolest parts of this movie. I thought was the mix of not found footage, but mix of like non actor live public, like it makes it feel more video. real. Yeah, For it sure. does, like a documentary almost. Like it had like it's creepy because aren't... you know what she's doing. And the way I think Scarlett Johansson's acting is really good because she's all like flirty and something. And see, they say something, she doesn't, she's like instantly right, yep, loses like the flirt face and she's just like the Terminator onto the next thing she's very like terminator mode that is very terminator I, that's a great comparison right there you know like, remember when she has to kill the the guy or like steal like knock out the guy in the beach like all right yeah those people try to save a fucking dog anyways uh i'm bringing you home <laughs> she just whacks right. him in the head and just drags him but she's like she's smaller build she's not strong to pull this like guy that's been swimming so she's dragging him little by little mm-hmm. in front of a baby ignoring it I'm wondering yeah, if that like, uh, that you know the scene where she like fell down uh, on the sidewalk. I was I was wondering if yeah, what if was that, that was about? yeah I don't know because she was just laying there. So I didn't know if like if the people that helped her up were part were in on the movie or if like those were just real people that were like considering and actors. wanted to help her up. That was funny. Yeah. But either way, that I was know it. that was another uh, turning point I think for her character because that's the point where she's realizing like humans. I don't want to die. No, I was I, uh, no. I think she was just realizing that, um, you know, the the kindness of humanity and like they would help a total oh, random stranger. And oh, it was the same with like that guy yeah. on the bus too. You know, he didn't know yeah, her, that... and she was willing. He was trying to help her out. You He's know, like, if I play my cards right in twenty four hours, she'll be sleeping with me in my house. That was right. so. Some of the decisions that are going on in this movie, I'm like, what is fuck is going on? This guy's just gonna take this chick off the bus and fight her in his house, and he's taking Dude. her on like. He's taking her on what tours the... of taking her to castles and stuff like I'm like, what the fuck is he's going a single on guy? Here? He's got nothing better to do. What is yeah, some of the shit is kind living, of silly. Living but... alone. Dude, the beach scene is ridiculous. The water and wind is outrageous. What parents would go with their dog and baby and just hang on the beach? That's what I was thinking. I, I know it's Scotland, but like Maybe still, the, it is that's like the exactly what I was dog thinking. in that water. 
Yeah. It's just like they did. They all go there to kill themselves. Like, what were they doing? It's, and then she just happens to be there for that. There's a lot of convenient things that happen. Like she gets raped when she goes in the woods. Like the, there's a lot of like beats that happen because it's very forced. I feel it's very forced. Like we got to show all versions of people, the, the oh, yeah. good and the bad. Oh yeah. And it's just like and then putting them in situations just to see how they would behave. But it's almost like heavy handed. I think. So the, I, 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 the first time I, I watched it, I was like, this is a bit forced. The second time I'm watching yeah. it, it's very obvious to me. But I, I'm an, you know, I like a good RC movie. I also knew going into this, like, what it was going to be like. So I don't, I don't mind the long shots. But it just seems a bit of a messy way of connecting all these ideas. And yeah. for it to end the way it does, it's just like, the ending is fine. It makes sense, but it just felt clunky. It's, there's no resolve. There's no. I think that's the anything. I think that's the point of the ending. I, it is I because actually they like show the trees ending. in the beginning, show trees at the end. Like this is. Mm. Oh, it doesn't matter. Everything is just like it is what it no, is. It's just, it's the, it happened it's and it's over it's, with. The nihilistic. ending makes. I don't know, and I thought it was very. I don't know, not anticlimactic, but as she becomes more human, like she starts to have more human things happen to her. Like the dude's trying to like carjack her at one point or whatever mm -hmm. um you know when she tries to eat cake or whatever like the, you know all that kind of stuff like that the closer she gets to the human like outside of the sexuality of just being like a black widow trying to snag dudes and turn them into meat balloons it like i don't know it gets there's more to it and as you get towards the end of the movie like that's her human experience is <laughs> some creepy ass logger dude trying to fucking rape her and then getting set on fire because she's different. Like it's well, yeah, that's another, that was, that's another yeah. pretty heavy handed metaphor in this movie. Like, you know, you like what's on the surface, but then you find out what's under the skin. Yeah. And then your three. instant, instant nice. reaction is just to kill it. You know, like you don't attempt mm -hmm. to understand it. Don't I mean it's another reflection of human society. Anything we yes, don't understand, we're afraid of. So his instant reaction is to fucking set it on fire and murder it, you know? Mm-hmm. And there's something I, I didn't notice. And that's the thing that Brandon you were saying with like all these scenes and all this different stuff. When you're watching the movie, like it's fairly confusing because you don't know what the scene like sort of what it's trying to say about the character at the time. But when you get to the end of the movie and you start to look back on it and you realize like the journey that, you know, as she's gaining more humanity, she goes to the mall to see what beauty is. She goes, you know, she starts to feel emotions with the disfigured guy. Uh, I don't know. It's tough to, it's tough to get that all in one, one viewing. I think that's why I said this movie is very rewatchable. Not that I want to rewatch it. Nah. But it's not very optimistic. A, you don't feel good. Viewing, a second no, viewing, no. I think you would get more out of. But like I think, you said, Eric, am I happy I watched it? Yes. Do I do I want to watch it again? Nah. I think by the end, I was uh, empathizing with her a little bit more because she was trying to break out of the situation that she was in. She, I don't think she's evil. She was just mm -hmm. doing her job. You know, she Aren't was she doing was what she thing? was supposed to do. Right. Exactly. Yeah. She like was following kids born. She was following orders early. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then she realized you know, like, Hey, I don't want to do this. I want to live a real life. Um, and then, yeah, it just, it takes so her. long to get there. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I have first 45 minutes are boring with like six O's in it. Like all she's doing for the first 45 minutes to an hour of the movie is just driving around and trapping dudes and, sucking out their black goo or no putting them in the black goo technically but um i it's it's cool what it's trying to say it just takes a long time to get around to saying it yeah yeah i i, I agree i will like, commend the uh the shot when it shows under the goo with the guy in there and oh the, yeah that was the cool. other guy oh, that just scene is... that that seems pretty more uh, of that disturbing yeah more of that was mm -hmm. was I, I was hoping I love those moments when the song kicked in and she starts luring them into a door and it's just pure black. And next mm -hmm. thing you know, it becomes like this 
widescreen shot. They're it reminded me totally of uh, like the fucking and... reminded me of Stranger Things. You know, yes, when Eleven a little bit like yeah. in the uh -huh. you know in her mind palace or whatever. It reminded me of that. Yeah, very much like that. Yeah, this was before that though, right? Oh yeah, yeah, much before. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, um, but yeah, all that was excellent. I don't know, very interesting. But when they finally show you what it's like underneath, and they see like the. The swimmers has been in there for a while, so he's uh, all like, "Yeah, it's fucked up." I couldn't, I couldn't tell who that was. It was fucking creepy. It was really yeah. creepy. Did the, did the like, popping scare the shit out of you guys? My wife jumped me both times. I fucking jumped. Yeah, because <laughs> you're like that one guy. That me. that was an instance where a, a longer shot because they were focused on him for a while before he popped because it was the music was building, the sound was building, and then all of a sudden, and it just fucking gone. Well, that's when you you realize what they're what she's doing, and they show like the red goo coming out. And I'm I'm sitting at the you know whatever. I'm stoned watching this movie, and that's happening. And I'm sitting there eating pineapple, like diced pineapple. And Lisa's like, "How can you even eat right now? This is horrible." It just as there's like red goo right. going into like on the trap into the. It's after that it point is. where my wife goo meat wanted to stop watching. Right after that scene, <laughs> she's like, "I'm good. I don't need to see it. Yeah, this is enough." Yeah. Wild, but those are the scenes that I think are the strengths of this movie. I mm -hmm. think you've never seen anything like it. The buildup is it delivers. It's got great mystery. Like you want to see what happens next. It's just that this movie doesn't have enough struck. And maybe this is the point of this movie. Again, it's. She's on the mission and she just goes goes rogue and it is a messy adventure for her, which you know where she dies. But it just from a movie standpoint, it's just like I there's some I think some great moments in this movie. That's like yeah, that's fucking awesome. That was really cool. And then it's her mother <laughs> living like the boring <laughs> life with like a more. watching TV at some guy's house. You know, he makes her tea and brings her and she's looking at herself in the mirror. Like I get it. She's starting to feel what am I? You know, do I like what I am? And she, I get all that stuff that she's going through, but I'm yearning to see more of like, what are these bike guys up to? Like, show me like they're boss. We don't get into resolve there. And I don't know. It's just this movie teases you a little bit and it's frustrating, but dude, it was exactly what you said. I think this movie would have worked better as like a, a fucking Twilight Zone episode or something like a shorter anthology series type thing, because yeah. they could have. They could have cut. They could. I mean, they could have expanded it out even further into a longer movie and explained certain things. But I don't think that would have worked either. If it was shorter, I think it. I would be more okay explain, with leaving things more up to interpretation. Explain the loop more. You know, like why yeah. it's important for her to break free. Like, because like, it's just like left to your imagination. I don't know. It's just like give us a little bit. Like all we got was some lights in the sky we know that the bikers are in on it they don't talk and they just do everything very circular like they just like walk around every 90 degree angles and look at something but it's like I think it, there's I, a little bit more room to explore guys, these guys they get the fucking job done though like <laughs> he shows up but like, to... where are they getting their money how are they knowing what they're doing true, like, just yeah. give us a little That's bit just a little too. bit hey, how are they doing they're... how does she have money yeah, how does do she? Anything. How does she buy all her gas to drive she's around got, in Scotland? She's got the shower debit card from all the goo. I'm sure she's taking oh, their wallets before well, they, she turns them into right, goo. Right, they do get naked before they go into the goo, so she just takes their wallet and then uses their fucking. And credit cards I think that's. I think it's more metaphorical goo, Eric. Uh, I don't know if that's literal goo, but goo. we don't. We don't know quite what's in that creepy house. And yeah, like, who I is love fucking video, walking in so that house? Cool. That house is fucking creepy as shit. Like, I don't care if. Well, I think you know, by that Cindy, point, Cindy Crawford leading me in there. They're like, they're like under her, her spell, you know, because she wa she does it where she undresses and walks backwards, you know, and like lures them in. So she's, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like she's putting them under some sort of spell because, like, it, you, they don't freak, yeah. they don't freak out when they start dipping into the goo. They just keep walking Never. forward. Ever. They don't talk ever. They just look. They're, yeah. The one guy briefly is dancing for a second, but then he like stops. And so here's the here's the thing. I was wondering in the very first seduction that we see, we only see like four, probably four or five. But I'm sure she probably did twenty. We just saw like four or five of them. But as she's doing this, the first one, it's she takes him in the building, up the stairs, into a room. But by the time we get to her last attempt, where she lets the guy go. 
it's like the first door and it and it's just right there or no i'm hold on i'm wrong it's the opposite she lets oh, yeah no 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 because the first guy she goes up the stairs into a door and then when she gets the one guy she goes through the first door he like looks back he sees the white van he like man he goes in anyways she gets that guy but then then it goes back to the the little guy that's deformed she goes up and acting because it's got that scene in the staircase with the mirror so it's, it's interesting like there's multiple doors i guess as i'm noticing and i, wonder I think what they that just show a little bit more of the building each time i don't that's oh, that's what so i took you go from in that door and then, oh, yeah. okay okay the disfigured okay, guy they specifically show it because they walk past the mirror and then when she's leaving right. she looks in the mirror and she and then she know, sees the fly on the she sees the fly on the window and she realizes that she's also trapped in her situation you know that's the thing i have with artsy movies they're always so interpretive and do you every, see this metaphor? everything's a fucking right. metaphor for is. everything else and like sometimes i twice. need i need you to explain those things i can't catch them the first time every time which also makes it cool to rewatch because you're catching it again the second time but Hi, yeah, yeah. Like it was an int- it was an interesting ride. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so go, go, going back to the deformed guy, I think this is very interesting. Again, another sure. strength of the movie is to hire this guy because the first time I watched it, I'm like, wow, this makeup is incredible. Then it looked them up and like, no, that's what the guy looks like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, I, props to that guy, man. To well, to it was do cool movie, because uh, Jonathan Glazer actually worked with a, a charity. Or like people with okay. this disease, um, okay. Because he want like he he didn't want to use special effects. He wanted it to be as real as possible. So he worked with this charity, and uh, the guy actually, the actor that played the deformed guy, like broke like broke his leg the day one of the days uh, before he was supposed to audition. I get he got like hit by a cab or something. So Damn. Jonathan Glazer went to the hospital okay. and he auditioned while he was in the hospital, and then he got the job the next day. Oh, kind of cool story. Yeah. His acting was good. I I instantly felt sad for him. I I love how he didn't even say anything. And it's just like through the acting, like, I don't know. So everything about that character, I, I, he did have props to have the courage to go into that movie and do that and play that role, knowing that they're like, hey, we got this beautiful woman, right? She's so stunning. It's Scarlett Johansson. She's going to, you know, lure guys, you know, and, uh, you know, eat, eat them later or whatever. So, um, you don't look like everyone else. So uh, can you be, you know, it's like your purpose of being cast. It's like being cast to be the, the fat person in the scene. Right. So you do fat jokes. Right. It's just like, Hey, you know, you look a certain way and I give him credit to be naked and do that. All that stuff. I mean, he's movie, like, he's an know? actor and part of his contributions too was, I guess he contributed ideas of how Scarlett Johansson could seduce somebody in his position, somebody with a disfigurement, oh, because it's a different, I love yeah, it even more. if it's a different approach of, you know, normally she's just flashing her pretty eyes and, you know, red lipstick right. and whatever. But like with him, that's, that's not interesting to him. Like, he, well, obviously it's interesting to him, but like, that's not pulling him in essentially. Like, you know, it's the, it's the touch and the human contact that kind of, he, he has nice him, hands. So. Yeah, nice I think it is. You I think touch, it's you it's just more like she's paid more special attention to him. Like it act, she acted like she cared, you know. It wasn't just like like Dave said, you know, flashing her flashing her good looks and he's instantly in, but he doesn't have that self confidence either to like flirt with her or, you know, take that right. chance with her. So she had to, you know she did. It was it was she had to a change bit her strategy of a different a right. Bit. It was a different she scene. She got compassion out of guys. it. Yeah, exactly. She's just like, oh, like you don't, you're not like all the others. It's like, right. why do I feel bad? You know, so like, stuff is adding up with her. You know, the the baby crying, hearing about the news, like learning, like thinking about. She starts to empathize with, like, oh my god, these humans. Like, I get it now. I'm, I'm starting to feel what you feel. Um, and I, I think Scar- Scarlett Johansson did a great job in the role. I think her acting was really good. Yeah, um, definitely. It's interesting because there's nobody else in the movie that I recognize. I think I think shooting in Scotland was an interesting choice. Uh, she has a British accent. I I, I think that's what she has. Was um, it? I don't know. The, I couldn't really tell if she was trying to do an accent or if like she was. I don't know. Not American. I don't think. 
Well, she's whatever. also and an alien. Like, <laughs> right. And then the uh, the guy with the, the the deformed face, he sounded like he was American. So, but like at that point, they're not gonna be like, hey, also be Scottish in this movie. Could you imagine the guy was Scottish? It probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah. But yeah. um. But know. yeah, her acting was good. His acting was good. Uh, overall, I would say the, the little acting that's in this movie, it was pretty good. It's, it's a lot just, of acting. Um, it's not a lot of words. Like, I don't know. Yeah. There's this, this very long Sparse period dialogue. of silence. Mm-hmm. I, I know, Brandon, you you said you loved the soundtrack. I'm going to, I don't know. What'd you, what Sound you design. Sound, Sound design. design. Not the score, okay. not the music. The the music is like one thing, but I thought the sound was really cool because you really just feel like I watched with headphones and I feel like I was hearing what she was hearing. Well, she also I'm has like a theme, the which right is record. cool. Like when she's on the yes. hunt, they play like that same. It's not even a, it's not a theme. It's like noise. It's that same noise over and over again. Oh, and they gosh. they play it again. Interestingly. During at the end, during like the rape scene, so like you know, the hunter well, has become the hunted sort of thing. That's the thing is, it's weird yeah, because she's yeah. becoming more human at the end, and I saw this after the fact, and I didn't notice it at the time. But the creepy logger dude starts asking her the same questions that she would ask her prey oh. as she was driving around. Oh, okay. you alone? Yeah, you doing out here? Right. Yeah, well, yeah. Right. You know, and he's asking those same things, and then he I knew the one that's as soon as soon as hunting her. As soon as we came across that guy, I'm like, this guy is up to no good. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> up to no run. good. Fucking creepy. Why is he around right? walking by himself out of his? He's truck. a logger in the woods. For, looking for trees, right, a know? log. Yeah. Maybe he was taking a leak, taking a taking a squat over there in the bushes. Who knows? But I mean, a fucking this dude alone in the woods with this with this girl. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. And like he's no. like, there's two thousand acres here. There's fucking no one out here. So he knew that no one would be coming along to stop him. So mm-hmm. it's weird. It's yeah. I don't know. The movie is cool because it's it's told from the alien's point of view, but yeah. it's like the alien learning about the human experience rather than like us being like, holy shit, there's aliens here. Right. It's kind of like flipping that coin on its head, but it's told in a very artistic way, I guess. I mean, you which, mentioned it's uh, kind of cool our, our the way that it comes about it. Right, and you mentioned Annihilation, which it kind of reminded me of that a little bit, only like towards okay. the end with the uh, alien, like you know, mirroring Natalie Portman and stuff. So it was similar, similar. It just remind and like the creature design itself sort of reminded me of that too. Just yeah. that all black figure. You know, sort of. Uh, I mean, she had a face, but it was like you know, featureless. Yeah, sort of without faceless. ears and yeah, yeah. But cool design, creepy. Oh, it's weird. It's all those weird things. But now there's. I mean, there's a lot of cool things to like about this movie, but at the same time, like it's it feels really drawn out. Like I like I mean, we mentioned before, like the live action shots, like those are a nice incorporation into it to make it feel like it felt like a like a serial killer stalking its prey or like something like that akin yeah. akin to that where it's like emotionless and it's just looking for like the best target essentially where yeah like there's nothing no no feeling to it it's all just like you know where can i get my food hmm. which damn, there's there's all sorts of weird stuff in there i saw that like um vegetarians or vegans or something like that were like inspired by this movie i saw that they it's like how we treat animals is like how she treats people like it's beneath them sure and they just take them and slaughter them when they're ready for them they just kind of like whatever they just like there's no like compassion for like the baby animals or the mom or anything like that it's i think that's like sliding down the trough yeah you know hey real quick you remember there's a scene when um She's learning one of the guys. You see her full form. You see like a black alien's full body. I noticed that too. Yeah. What was that about? That wasn't her though, or was it like her but not her? Like that's what she looks like on the screen. Yeah, I think that was like a form is. That was like a not a a boss or mop. No, I think that was like a hint of like that's who she really is. You know, that's what I got from it, anyways. Because I saw it was like a quick. It was a quick little scene. It wasn't like a 
long drawn out thing. It was kind of like a little flash of this black figure. And I'm like, that must be what she, you know, okay. looks like. That must be her true form, you know? Okay. It's, it's just succubus. Yeah. yeah. Succubus. I, I'm sure we, I'm sure we want to wrap this up, but, um, I thought it was, uh, again, another heavy handed scene. And I, this movie's artsy, right? Like I told you guys, people should watch men. And that's a very artsy movie. It's something oh, is not it? logical. Okay. Just, it's like more like this. It's more like this. It's just kind of like, just kind of suspend your belief a little bit. Cause this is not right. very accurate, okay. but, um, there's a scene where she's like walking and she gets taken away by all those women. I just like, I'm like, when was this ever happened? walking where they just like, <laughs> Come they on, just, woman, right. They just, were just like, let's go. go to, we're us. going to a rave. Let's go to a, where are you going? The party's this way. Girls night out. Right. Everybody. And I just thought that was, and she just goes to a fucking club. It I was mean, weird. it worked out. She was able to get another prey, but I so, agree. That and, was uh, weird. And then some of the guys' wieners are uh, interesting looking. I don't see many wieners, <laughs> but there's they, a lot of when they were naked, I was just like, wow, the guy legit has a fucking boner. I was just thinking actor-wise, actor-wise, like, and action. You're probably in a green-screened room, you know, with, like, a full cast of people, and you're, like, in the scene, like, all right, now go. And, like, man, to just have a <laughs> boner. They hired a to fluffer. have a fucking boner. They hired and a just, fluffer. <laughs> they got two, there is... and they're just walking into the scene. It's like I was just like I don't know who this it's... actor is. I, I... and that's the I thing. Guess. Like it's, I mean, it could it's not an equal. That. It's an equal opportunity nudity movie where it's not about. It's not dong, sexualized in any way. No, no, no. <laughs> no, there's nothing sexual about it. It's all more about like the human state and what it means to be human. I guess really, yeah. I mean, they, they even asked, like, I don't know, they were at some panel or whatever, and Scarlett Johan- they asked Scarlett Johansson, like, why she decided to do this movie and, like, the nudity and whatever, but she was basically oh, okay. just, you know, since it wasn't, it was tasteful and artful, it wasn't like a, you know, like you said, it wasn't sexualized in any way, it was, you know, yeah. she, she said she was more comfortable doing it because it made sense in the movie and it sort of, and it informed the character, you know. It wasn't just like she it wasn't just attractive. the nudity for she the sake of being the nude. other guys. Right. But the other guys, I just like they just got the check and like, oh, I'll be in this movie. Yep. All right. right. <laughs> I'll just you know, I don't know, man. Like I just I just could not imagine being I'm I don't know. Like, <laughs> not, I was thinking like actor, is this what I look like, like naked? Like do I look this <laughs> dumb? Like, yes, we all do. It's a bit, yeah. uh, yes. Oh, that is yeah. Accurate. It's a big <laughs> dumb horny hairless ape. Right. that's yeah. really what, that's what we all are and like i mean that's kind of what you know what she's looking for is like she's oh looking for the, man she knows that you catch more flies with honey and her honey just happens to be scarlett johansson's boobies like i don't know that's, that's, how, she's, <laughs> that's how she's bringing them in so yeah well, let's end on that cool <laughs> <laughs> I, I we can end on any sort of things. I don't know how long we've been talking here, but um, over an hour. I got one last one, one last question. Uh, yeah. The the bike guy that is hunting her down, he does meet with other guys. They all kind of just split up. Like, all right, we got to get this like worker bee that's like yeah, kind of on road, whatever clean up crew. But when after she's dead and her ashes go into the uh to the um snow and uh, snowing or whatever it goes in the sky, but. He is still looking around for her. Does that just show that, like, he's also, I'll, I'll, even, even though he might be a level up above her, he's still a drone. Like, he still just got his job, and he just, he's gonna. Was there a scene after that? No, it was just. Yeah, it was he, her ashes he was like, and then credits. He was on a cliff, like looking out over. He's doing the that. He's doing what he does. He, he, his head constantly is is moving, but he does like a a ninety degree turn. Watch that scene, and you'll see how he moves. He's very robotic. Oh, yeah. There's someone up above him too, you know, controlling it. But everything. it's like this is it just showing that even he doesn't know what's going on? Like oh, it's yeah. over. He's just with. doing his she's job. Gone, but he doesn't even know. They're they're still looking for her. They don't even know that she's dead. No, not at it's all. just like worker bee mentality, just like just work, 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 work. You won't find her. I mean, how could you find her? By the time it was snowing like crazy. It was like literally landing on the camera when they aimed it up in the sky. She's going to be put I mean, out they would never find her. No. They were in 2,000 yeah. acres of woods in the middle of nowhere. Like, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I don't know. It's just it's just showing that he's maybe 
there's so much room for interpretation in this movie. Maybe he's looking for uh, tacos. I don't you know. He's looking for tacos. Maybe he's sure hungry. He Maybe he's looking for. I was uh, really impressed, though. They said they, I mean, clearly they got a professional uh, motorcycle r- racer to play this part. Oh, okay. he was like yeah, driving on the narrow roads, rainy, narrow roads at night. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, this dude's going to fucking crash. Like, I think it would be cool yeah, though if one of that. them had it. I would. I think it would have been really cool if one of the bikers got into an accident, and you would see how they would behave with a human, because we never see them encounter humans ever. You know. Yeah. I mean, the naked, the, the I mean, the foreign face guy, like when he's like naked, he's like in a trance still. He's just like casually walking. I'm like, dude, I would be running full sprint. But he's just like, all right, I'm gonna sneak in somebody's backyard. Do do do. I and guess he's like there you are. Get in the back of my car. We're going. I feel like we could Old just lady ask, looks at uh, him. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you. No, that's it. It's just like they just never encounter anybody. Right. Which I was like, like I was like, that motorcycle guy is probably going to go back and, and kill that old lady. Right. Because she saw something. Yes, probably. It's not resolved. Right. Well, I was just going to say. Uh, like, I guess we do that in real life. We just see stuff and we just don't do anything about it. Like, oh. I was just going to say, so, how do these motorcycle aliens know how to ride motorcycles so well? How do they know how to make human <laughs> skin and who knows? learn English in, in, in an hour? Right, right. That racer is uh, Jeremy McWilliams, a championship road racer. Yeah. Cast as the motorcycle. Okay. The film required somebody who could ride through the Scottish Highlands at high speeds in bad weather. Dude, yeah. In <laughs> the rain, I'm like. Another hey. note. The logger, creepy ass logger dude, was played by the owner of a location researched for the film. So it sounds like he wasn't even really an actor either. He was just an owner of the like. Maybe they just like huh. his creepy ass logger look. Like you're out in the woods like, all day. You, you look you like seem a logger creepy. rapist. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta Which play a rapist. Kind of crazy. So I know. There's there's a lot yeah. of little tidbits about this one, but it's. It's an interesting story. I think we've all we kind of said a lot about it, but I think we've all come to the ag- agreement that it is a it is a film. It is a film that needs to be yeah, respected. I place it in the good. I definitely think it's like an eighty four. I think eighty four is a good number for it. Personally, I, I just don't know if I want to see it ever again. <laughs> well, does that make it good then? If you yeah, never, I, see I it mean, like I, I've seen movies that are like like yeah. I, I've seen Jojo Rabbit. I think that's a great movie. I don't want to see it ever again. No, there are some movies that like some scenes, cartoon. movies, and I just yeah, there there definitely are movies that I've had where you know they really leave an impact on you, but like it's so it's a tough watch, you know, to go back and watch it again. Um, mm-hmm. This one, like I said, I can appreciate it uh, for what it is, but I don't know if I have a desire to watch it again, and I don't know what the circumstance yeah. would be where it would come up where it'd be like. You want to watch a movie tonight? Right. Let's watch Under the Skin. Right. It's like a yeah, right. What was that early two thousands movie about like the druggies? Uh, oh, uh, Train yeah. Spotting or whatever. No, no, Train Spotting was an actual good movie. Oh, um, I know what you're talking about with um. All I can say is Double Dildo. Sh- I can't remember that movie though. It's got Jared Requiem Lito. for a Dream. Thank you. Oh, yeah. um, I remember watching that and being like, what the fuck did I just watch? But then, like, I never did the actual, you know, effort of going back and like looking at metaphors for everything. It's just sure. like one of those movies that you saw. Ones. It didn't yeah. make you feel good. Right. It had something no. to say. And you're just like, yeah, kind of exactly how I that felt. same kind of feeling of when I left this one. So I also feel yeah. like a movie like this um, and, you know, other art house movies like this, you get out of it what you put into it you know Mm -hmm. so like if you do the work to think about it or do some research or watch an explainer video i think you get more out of it in the end rather rather than just watching it and be like that sucked you know would it be better if you saw that before you watch this movie so then when you watch the movie this time you weren't so surprised by how boring it was you weren't so surprised by stuff potentially yeah, like I don't know. It, it could be an interesting way of going about it. I can but... speed up the movie for you though. No, and if that no, was your big, just fast forward those. It gives yeah. you 
gives you some stuff <laughs> want... to look for. My wife asked me to fast forward at certain points during the movie. Like literally, we could, we could get a fan edit of this. this that'll get it down to like forty five minutes. And it's not we'll a bad good. idea, there, no, Eric. No, no. Us a... Let's give it a nomad cut. Nomad cut. Let's go. Nice. Go okay. home. Well, there's something to chew on while we uh, take this next break. Uh, we've talked a lot about this movie. Did you guys have anything else you wanted to throw in before we cut to the next? All right. I don't believe so. Uh, we have mm. a special game on hand next. Uh, one of the one of the Discord members, T, just wanted to you know help out with the show. Absolutely. So I think I think he's going to run the game for us, and we're all going to actually get to play this one. Well, so. I think so. He's going to post the questions in Discord um but i think we're all playing i don't know we'll find out right. after the we'll break. find out during the break and uh yeah let's take a little cut let's take a leak grab a beer and uh fill up our van with gas again because we're gonna go around glass <laughs> one more time let's go for, i'd be hungry for some meat balloons uh yeah we'll be right back after this Thank you. 
Do, 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 do. And we are back to play a game which has been contributed to us from our Discord. From, Absolutely. Uh, okay. Our favorite, one of our members, Tejas. Thank you, Tejas. Uh, Can't wait. Like this, I don't know, I'll try and pronounce this. He, he gave us a name. It's called Yobukumen no Haiku or Nomadic Haiku. Or the name I'm going to give it is Haiku You Doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's got his own name. Hey, oh, hey, oh. So Hi, we are, are all we are all playing together as a trifecta okay. this time for mm -hmm. the first time. I don't know. I think we're gonna go. Oh, yeah, to, this is uh, the first Nomad first. Yeah, we're all on the same team. We get to go to Japan if we win. Um, to go. Uh, okay. Hang out. I've always wanted to go there. there. Uh, let me see the. Uh, what are those? The the flowers festivals that they have over there. They always have those cool. Uh... Ah, fuck. I'm going to forget me. Somebody flowers in Japan. One. Yeah. Those are uh, the blossom, the blossom. Yes. Or whatever. Yes. Yeah. They always look okay. so cherry, blossoms, cherry blossoms. I'm like gin blossoms. <laughs> the band gin blossoms the are pretty cool too. <laughs> hey, um, you got to read so the description. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm getting there. Get there. So our answer, uh, he's given us to us as a haiku. Um, the haiku is going to reference, there's a couple movies and a couple games. Uh, he's going to black it out, but, uh, I'll try and move this so I can actually see what I'm talking about here. Uh, most games are series as opposed to specific games. Uh, we will look once and we all have to agree on an answer and then we will, uh, click on the spoiler warning in our discord and we will reveal our answer. So I think... I think that's all we got to do. It seems pretty straightforward. Um, we just got to uh, come to a consensus, really. Is I know. What it is. Teamwork. So, Teamwork makes the right. dream work, baby. Are we ready for the first? I, yes, I yes. am ready. All right. Read I will read these out. I don't know if you guys are in the Discord or not. Yeah, I'm looking at the Discord, too, on my I'm, phone. I'm in here. Yeah. Experimental. No, it's, and haikus are this five, is, seven, five yep, syllables. Yep. It's just five, seven, awesome. five. Yeah. Here we go. Experimental, living, unable to die, potty mouth syndrome. So uh, it's either a series. Okay, there will be three movies and two games. All right. Living, unable. Live, experimental, living, unable to die, potty hmm. mouth syndrome. Uh, Which is tough. Duke Nukem. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, makes it very tough because unable to die. Is it like oh? I, mean, I keep thinking Terminators wait. are in my head, but what Hades? I was thinking Hades, but what, what would experimental and potty mouth syndrome they... be? Oh, aren't they swearing in that or no? No, no, no there's no swearing not. in Hades. Experimental. All right. Hmm. Unable to die. Yeah, this he's the size of the answer is also a hint. So like we can see the you know what it looks spoiler. like it's like six it's a shorter characters. word. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. like one word probably. Also true. Most um, games so it might be a game series or just a movie. Like I was thinking uh that uh live die repeat movie, like Edge of Tomorrow, the Tom Cruise movie, but that's too long of a title. <sighs> Possible. Experimental, experimental potty mouth living syndrome. unable to die potty mouth syndrome I'm trying to think of like no it's potty mouth makes me think of like the south park kids but they can certainly die experimental like potty uh, booger, Especially kenny booger man <laughs> <laughs> he's just gross he's uh, not potty mouth syndrome it's not like uh dead cells he's able to die right it could be That's it could so also be a movie uh, too 
It's just tough because it's a wide tough. net to cast. Yeah, this is tough. Whether it's something that we usually it's something that we've watched or not, but that's that's a tricky one. Uh, I'm kind of lost on this one. You guys got anything for me? Uh, I don't know. This one's this is a tough one right out of the gate. Fear and mental is driving me bonkers. I know, right? What does that mean? Or maybe you just needed something with five syllables to fit in the fit in the spot. Square peg, round hole. Oh, okay, he does say these won't hand. be these won't be obscure, which is okay. Okay, well, I was hoping, but yeah, okay. Makes me feel a little like bit better. Ex, ex machina. There's no potty mouth thing going there. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the. Just keep going back to fucking Duke Nukem. <clears throat> Like Rocket Raccoon, like you know, he's got a potty mouth, but you know, living unable to not, die. He is able to die. Yeah, who's unable immortal and swears? Unable. Who's immortal that right. swears? Spawn? Does he swear? <laughs> like a no, superhero? I don't think like so. Some some sort of superhero. Hmm. I don't um, know. What about character. the boys? The boys living unable to die. Hmm. Homelanders. Homelanders, yeah. pretty good. I I kind of like that one. He is an experiment. Mm-hmm. He is fairly unable to die. He's unable to die. Barely unable to die. <laughs> and he just yeah. I'm I'm good with that. Oh, what, you want to say it's the, clo- the, the closest boys? thing I have. The boys is it's that what we're it would going? fit or. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of if uh, what was the Amazon show we watched with uh, oh, Invincible? Invincible. Oh, Invincible. But... That could be an interesting one too. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Try the boys. I don't have any other guesses. Sure. All right. The boys. The boys. Last answer. I'm clicking on it. All right. Let's reveal it. Right. Oh, Deadpool. My oh my we god! Now that. it's so obvious. We were on oh, the right hurt track. With a though. mouth. We were on the right uh, track. That was a good close. one. Yeah, we had dark humor uh, comic book characters. Fuck. All it right. was an All experiment. Right. He is now. I know. I that, mean, yeah, that was a good one. Deadpool isn't able to die. Damn it. All right. That was a good one, Tejas. All yeah. right. Number two. Next. Above and below. All secrets mirrored between. Beware my stick stick. Stick stick. Oh, boy. It's a long, above long title below. for this one. Above, above and below. below. Above and all below. Secrets mirrored between. Beware my stick stick. Beware my stick stick makes me think of Sun Wukong. Um, the monkey. The monkey god. Oh, uh, Journey to the West. Journey to the West, yes, above thank you. Above and below. Above and below could mean for heaven and all earth. Secrets mirrored between. Wow. That is my initial thing. Beware my stick stick. Mm, it's not Donatello. <laughs> it's not Donatello. Uh, trying to think of any other characters with a bow and or staff. Gandalf. What stick stick. What the low. fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does stick stick mean? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he said Beware stick once. Stick Could be like stick. nunchucks, you know, like it's got two sticks on both ends. I mean, above and below, they could be the sewers and, a, you know, what is New York City. All secrets mirrored in between. All, yeah, man. All secrets mirrored in between. I mean, the name fit like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like that. Wait. What? Is this The Legend of Zelda um, Tears of the Kingdom? Oh. All secrets mirrored between. It's, I feel like that's too long. That makes sense but... for the all secrets mirrored between, though, because the... Well, above the and below. below death I and, mean, above and below. Yeah, and things, things match up But what's up my stick between... stick? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he picked up a fucking stick on the ground and he's whacking people with it. I don't know. Stick stick. That just doesn't. Tears of the Kingdom is a good one here too. And it, it's all the characters that would match that. But all right, well that's all I got. Above so and far. below. I don't know. It's as yeah. Tears it's the... as good a guess as I, any, but 
Tears of the I Kingdom just don't, is good. And then, stick Stick, I just can't get past. What that would be? I mean, beware. Well, no, beware, when, my stick no, stick. time out. Tears of the Kingdom, you can merge, you can fuse a stick to a stick, so that would be a stick stick. Oh, I'm all uh, Tears, of, I'm all tears right, of the Kingdom. All right, here. that yeah, I, I like that. Oh boy, hold on, hold on, hold on. We might be getting a hint here. He just is typing, unless he's just preparing for the next one. I be. I'm pretty. You guys are idiots. I I you've convinced me with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. For sure. Yeah, I think we're gonna let's yeah, final answer. We're good. All right, we all agree. Yeah, let's reveal it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, fuck Tears yeah. Tears. It was yeah. awesome. Good job. Okay. So what does the stick stick mean? Is it literally it's, the, it's the gotta the be the stick, stick, stick fused to the stick? Too, man, yeah. dude. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. All right. Okay. That was a good uh, call, Brandon. That nervous. was a good call. Just needed Brandon's, like Brandon's time, ideas right. and just me putting some logic to it. That's all. Nice. Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. Another one. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Uh, clicky goes to the mouth. Oh. Illusions hide while he spies. Beware triple dots. I feel like this is. Uh, Pac- know, Pac-Man came to mind. Is nope. Instantly. I know what this is. Oh, you know the what triple this dots. is? The triple dots. The tri- I thought I was just thinking Pac-Man dots. No, it is the Predator, the Predator, predator laser sight. Oh, oh Clicky Predator. Mouth. Yeah. Illusions it's definitely hides Predator. While he spies. Yeah. You know, I thought it was yep. at first with the clicky of the mouth, it was uh, hereditary. You know how she like clicks? Oh. Yeah, I was just uh, thinking Pac-Man because no. I mean he wakes the waka waka sound with his mouth. Dots, but Predator. It's predator. definitely Predator. 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 Let's see it. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Predator. Ding ding. Two out of three. Good All job. right, we're heating up. We're getting we're getting better at this. Uh, yeah, the triple yeah, the dots for hard. some reason. For some reason, I don't know why that always stands out because they have it in Call of Duty now. I mean, where you can get the, the it's updated, like iconic, you know, updated reticles. So that's I was you always go for the Predator reticle, of course. That's what yeah. you want. All right, next one. All up. right, let's go. Number four, terrified and lost. Scraps will make tools to return. Rejuvenates plants. This sounds like a video it's, game ass video game to me. Sounds right like Wally to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's well, too too long scraps, to be Wally. Scraps will make tools to return. It sound it also sounds like a, a crafting video game, like a fucking mm-hmm. survival. I was just survival crafting game. I was thinking yes, like a Minecraft or uh, something because you're terrified stuff. and lost. Scraps will make tools to return. To return. Return so, where? There's like Ark Survival Evolves. Um, Juvenates. You are terrified and lost in the woods. You make tools. Hmm. I don't know where we're returning to, but the rejuvenate Rejuvenates plants. plants. Tough one. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To return is the key word here. What video game are you trying to return? So you have to collect scraps. Scraps of what to return? And then return to rejuvenate plant. Hold on a second. Uh, Wall- Wally was pretty good. I just, I know. I, I, that Wally is what made me, what I thought of first, but it's too, sh- too long to be Wally. True. That is also true. true. Rejuvenate plants. What movie or video game are you doing? One movie and one game left. Because we've done two movies, one game. So one movie, one game left. Okay, so it's all right. So that doesn't help right now, right? Because right, it's either a movie or a game. (laughs) Scrap. This sounds like a game. I. I, It It sounds like like a game. game. Sounds like a game. But what is rejuvenates plants? Oh, that's that's what's tripping me up. I feel like the first two could apply to a lot of games. Mm-hmm. So rejuvenate is that when it's like almost dying and then you bring it back to life, or is yeah. rejuvenate something different? Like yeah, where like you're it's not playing. It's like what about reju- refreshing, rejuvenating yeah. plants? Refreshing, yeah, or like plants heal you, like a Resident Evil, where you're terrified Re- and lost. Wait, wait, wait. Is it idiocracy? 
scraps will make tools to return? I don't think so. No? And okay. just based on the length. Oh, length of it, yeah. yeah. The length Maybe is a big hint. In, he's adding in spaces afterwards to... Uh, <laughs> right, he's trying to throw throws off. off. Non-breaking spaces. Um, well, it's just the, the to return, I was just thinking, like, time, like, going back in time, right? No. Like, uh, uh... terrified and lost. And you're like lost in time, and you got to use something, you got to use scraps to get back. I was thinking like rejuvenating. I don't know why, but like Ori came to mind. Like Ori, uh, Will the Wisp okay. or something, but I don't that think that's right. Name obviously is too short for that. Back to the Future, terif terif terrified, not scared, terrified, terrified and lost. When are you? need five you... syllables. Terrified is just a good word to fill in syllables, maybe. Who knows? That's the, I'm stuck on that. That's what makes me feel like crafting, where like you're planting seeds and like, you know, watering plants and growing stuff, essentially. Oh man, I um, I'm a little lost on this one. I think I, I like uh, I was thinking Stardew Valley, but you're not terrified and lost in that game. No, no, but what what game are you going around collecting scraps? <clears throat> Tons what of game games. What game is that? So many games. Name Fallout some. 76. We'll name some. Okay. Yeah, Fallout like, 4. I don't know. Ration and Clank. Fucking, so you know. Uh, any survival game. Valheim. Yes. Collecting. Like, that's why it makes me think of survival games, because you're collecting, Valheim. you know, you're collecting scraps to, oh. <laughs> T just <laughs> says, maybe a movie. <laughs> so maybe we're on the wrong track. Yeah, just point this, point our compass okay. in the right direction. All right, oh, let's flip the script and think of a movie. All right, I mean, I mean Idiocracy is the closest <clears throat> one, Brandon. I think. Right. So okay. So going back in time, plants. What movie? Plants <laughs> has pl the, the the need to get the plants healthy again. What's that? Matt Damon on Mars movie. The Martian. The Martian. Dude, oh. the Martian. That oh, that's not oh. long enough, though, is it? Is it? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't Could think be. so. But that's a good that's a good line of thinking, though. Except he wasn't lost. He, he was. was he was, I mean, he was lost he was, yeah. on Mars. He he didn't know if he was ever gonna get back. I don't know. I think. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really have any anything for this one. Terminator 2. Terminator 2. Scraps will make tools re to, to return. To return to what? Terrified and lost. <laughs> you suck on that one, aren't you? It's like... I am right now. Like so, yeah. It uh, made me think of, like, Castaway or something, you know? Because he, he's lost on a fucking island and... Uh, but something like that. It's not that, but... I have the Martian stuck in my head, but I don't think that <clears> name <throat> is long enough to fit into this spot. Or you could have wrote written down like Matt Damon's The Martian. You could yeah. be wrong also up there. Struggling well, with hold on, just, 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 just. The, what are some movies where people are are lost, lost in time? What movies do that? Back to the Future. Terminator. What else? Terminator. What else has time? Did, you said time idiocracy. Jumping. Idiocracy. Time travel. The Matrix. This just doesn't have time travel. Well, does it, it messes with your. It does. I don't. Know. I don't know. I don't, here. Yeah, I don't have a solid guess for this one. All right. Anything else, Brandon? I'm gonna hit this button. I think the Martian is the best that we got. Right. I don't know. Sure. I'm going to click this, move, not this it, button. But... We're, we're all going to feel really dumb as soon as I click this button. All right. Let's click it. Oh, my God. E.T. I never would have wasn't even thinking of that. Damn. Never really got to make that. tools to return. E.T. is so terrified and lost. Yeah. I did not even. Uh, I like a year ago. See, and and that's I... A... I would, I pro that would have, that would have tricked me because if we would have said ET, I would have just thought, you know, oh ET, it's way too long to be ET. 
I don't remember the, the plants movie. being part of. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, a dead plant, and he either. points his finger at it, and the plant comes back to life. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since we've seen ET. That's a. Yeah. Uh, that is a that's an oldie. All right, we got to get this okay. last a, one. All right, it's a game. It's an yeah, oldie, it's but that is a goodie if you guys haven't seen that one in a while. Like it's surprisingly good for the time it came out at. Um, yeah, that's Spielberg, man. Hold on, well, I want to see what year that was. 1982, that movie was, which it's fucking impressive. So this next right. one, Pac Man. Sorry, it's it's Pac Man. So read it. And read chomp it out. Around fear, his yeah. terrifying sound. Shivering sheets run with those ghosts, the ghosts. with the sheets on. The ghosts, yeah, yeah, that's gotta be Pac Man. It's, Pac-Man. it's <laughs> gotta be, <laughs> yeah, the emo in the chat. All right, Pac Man, go, do we we'll agree? Pac Man, yeah, sure, I'll click on it. Yeah, that is got it. All right. Chomp and chomp right. around, fear his terrifying sound. Shivering sheets run. See, I love Eric, that. you were talking about Pac Man before, too, I would, and yeah, just, I was yeah, talking about Pac Man a little bit easier. For the that is one. weird how that worked out. Yeah, so we all get to go to Japan to see the cherry blossom season. Right. Three out of five ain't bad, right? Three out of five. That, ain't that bad. was a good game. How was really you doing? Good. Thank I like you, it. Just something, yeah, that something was awesome. Different, something new and exciting. Um, yeah, definitely. Thank you, Tejas, for that fantastic idea. Um, hey, if you got any more games, let's uh, let's do this again because that was that was really cool. <laughs> I do love some sake. So, um, Eric, if people want to get a hold of us and contribute more uh suggest some games suggest some movies some you know contribute anywhere that they can to the podcast uh, uh how would they get a hold of us <laughs> well if you want to uh you know give us a game to play like tegis you can join our discord the nomads of fantasy.com slash discord you can follow us on the social medias at nomads of fantasy uh we're out there on pretty much all the all the platforms you'll find us uh check us out on youtube you know we got our got the youtube videos going up we stream on twitch live episodes uh you know play our game whatmapgame.com um yeah i think that's about all i got for you so uh with that as always safe travels nomads Thank you.